Hey, Cedric here, Primal Punch here. Uh, Jack Roberts requested a uh, a video about uh, placement of your hands for punching, like your your basic ready stance, and also how to some kind of exercises that you can do to create a kind of muscle memory so that your hands come back here. Now, I'll say this that there are a couple different ways to really really increase muscle memory when it comes to something like that one getting hit nothing like getting hit to make you want to keep your hands back here barring getting hit the next best way is to use resistance any movement that you do with resistance burns into muscle memory much more quickly than a movement that is done without resistance I don't know why this is just is. Sky's blue, water's wet. Muscle memory works better when resistance is used. Um, that's one of the reasons if you look at my my zombie fighter Django workouts, my, my fighters workouts, those uh your hands are always right right here. This is where your hands start for all the movements. You know, we're starting here and we're doing punching. Now I'm gonna give you a visualization technique that helped me. I want you to imagine that you are somewhat of a marionette, okay? But you have strings that are attached to your wrists and your cheeks. And you have to fight those strings to throw your punch. And those strings pull your hands back, alright? If you just imagine those strings while you're working out, while you're doing your shadow boxing, like that. And practice how you play, okay? However, however it's going to work best for you out there, all right? Whatever complements your particular uh, discipline of uh, self-defense and offense, uh, you know, do that. Stand how you're going to stand. Now, if you're going, if you're going to, uh, you know, you want to stay symmetrical, keep your workouts symmetrical. If it's a workout, not your shadow boxing then you'll you'll face symmetrical your feet will be pretty much parallel you know like that but still bring your hands back and when you, if you do any punching movements throw them from the ground up let it start from your your feet up you know now i'm not your martial arts instructor like that i i'm not a karate instructor uh kung fu you know taekwondo kempo none of that what I do is just basic and practical brutality. So that's what I will show you. And I cannot answer questions about the more in-depth uh, martial arts techniques because that's not my milieu. I'm, I'm a meat and potatoes fighter. So anything that I show you is not the way. It's simply the way that has worked for me in practical applications. And when I say practical applications, I mean fighting out there on the street where you don't want to hit the ground you don't want to wrestle because then your opponents friends are going to kick the top of your head soft and roll you they'll take your stuff you know and you'll end up all vegetative duh drooling when you smile you know I've seen that crap happen you never want to hit the ground you gotta be moving you're keeping them hands out run you know if you have to and even even getting a crappy hit in is better than nothing getting a thumb in someone's eye it gives you a split second and that's what matters for me the best hand placement what has worked best for me is basically your boxers stance okay knees always bent if you are right-handed then your left leg is going to be slightly forward you know if you are left-handed then your right leg will be slightly forward and that's it hands pretty much up so that you know and I don't I don't want them back here because then this hand can't get over here if it has to that that quickly I want them out in front of my face just a little bit and you know this one slightly leading maybe looks a little bit like this and you're gonna adjust this based on what's going on alright but your basic starting stance for me is just getting those hands up so that you're ready to throw alright 
your left leads, it comes out fast, you can bridge that gap with that falling step, okay, where you spring forward off that, off that back foot and drive that left in with everything behind it, then you follow it with that right, you know, whatever you got to do. If there's someone behind you, then you're going to follow up and you're going to run, but your hands are here. You can block this back here, you know, you can drop a hand down to deflect a, a lower kick, you know, you can do a lot. You got where you can drop your elbows down over those floating ribs. You see, your elbows can reach all the way to your hips with a slight movement. So you can pretty much protect a lot of stuff. You can push that hand off so it don't strike your sternum or under the heart, you know. Now, for hand placement, up until the advent of gloves, people kept their hands more like this. Now, doing a turnover punch from here, like in boxing, they do this to get that extra snap. Barehanded, I do not recommend that. I recommend a vertical landing because it is skeletally correct. Boom. It's your strongest punch, your safest punch. It's not going to break your hands, you know, as easily. Don't be stupid. Make your hands hard. Harden up your hands, you know. Get your mini makawara like that. Now, we do a turnover punch from here, and it ends up a vertical landing. And these guys, you drill this in like a spear. You're coming up underneath. You're hitting that soft stuff, right? So, you can always turn your fist out a little bit like that. What's worked best for me is hands like this, okay? And I can modify from there however I need to hit, if I need to come in from the side, however, you know, whatever I got to do. But from here, I can slap a hand, I can grab a hand, you know, and, and like that. So this is what's worked for me. Looks like this from the front. I'm right-handed. And that's basically it, okay? Just super simple. My toes are not really pointed forward. They're more my my leading leg, my left leg, the toe is pointed, you know, say uh, two o'clock. And and like that. It works for me. It's what's worked for me. Um, things to remember when standing, uh, make a triangle of your feet. And wherever the point is, your feet are two points. And wherever that third point is, that's your weak. That's where you're weak okay you're easy to push over your center of balance is messed up so you want that away from your opponent so you're strong all right so you're rooted um that's pretty much it that was your question and you know of course we always make a proper fist you know i've seen where you roll it down like that but i prefer for my hand, my fingers to uh be just under my calluses, that, that meat there at the bottom, I like that meat to be in my fingers, acts almost as a natural fist pack. And then you lock your thumb over underneath, it's out of the way. Never let your thumbs hang loose, they'll catch, they'll sprain, they'll break. I've seen ugly things happen. No good comes from leaving your thumb untethered. Keep them in. And, and like that. Uh, repetition. Just keep doing it. Try my workouts. It'll work for you. So, remember, be good to yourself. You hold your head up high. You live free and always, always, always punch hard, okay? Be good to yourself. You are worth it, okay? And I dig you. Bye.